Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To make advanced formatting changes to a selected shape, use the Format Shape task pane. To open the Format Shape task pane, click the Format Shape Launcher button in the lower right corner of the Shape Styles button group on either the Shape Format contextual tab or the Format tab of the Drawing Tools contextual tab in the ribbon, depending on the version of Office you have installed. The options you can change for your selected shape appear in this task pane grouped by category. The categories appear as icons at the top of the task pane. Also, note that there are separate shape options and text options available for text containing shapes. You can click either title at the top of the format shape task pane to set these category attributes independently. To use the task pane, click one of the category icons that appear at the top of the task pane. Then make any changes to the available settings within the collapsible and expandable category groupings that appear below the category icons. You can click the titles of the category groupings to collapse and expand the settings within each. Then change the settings as needed within the expanded groupings. The changes you make are immediately applied as you set them. So you may need to use the undo button to reset your shape after changing the settings if you do not like them. Many of the settings in the Format Shape task pane are identical to the settings available when formatting pictures using the Format Pictures task pane if you select the Shape Options title at the very top of the Format Shape task pane. So for brevity's sake, we will not review the same settings we have already covered again. You should review the lessons, fill and line settings, and effects settings in the Pictures and Media chapter to familiarize yourself with the standard formatting options like Fill, for example. Unlike pictures, however, you can use the text box category grouping in the Layout and Properties category under the Shape Options title to format selected shapes that contain text. You can click the text box category grouping to expand it if needed and display the formatting options for text boxes. You can use the Vertical Alignment drop-down to select a desired vertical alignment for text in your selected shape. You can use the Text Direction drop-down to select a desired text direction within the selected shape. If you check the Do Not Rotate Text checkbox, then the text within the shape won't rotate if the shape itself is rotated in the document. Checking the Resize Shape to Fit Text checkbox resizes the border of the shape to fit any text you enter. To set the internal margins of the selected text-containing shape, Use the spinner boxes to set the left margin, right margin, top margin, and bottom margin within the object. If you want the text to wrap within the shape when it encounters the right edge of the shape, then check the Wrap Text in Shape checkbox. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachucomp.com forward slash free.